Sunak gets it wrong again. Rishi Sunak announced in a meeting to rapturous applause, by the way, that the UK would no longer be dependent on Russian imports for its energy. This is because the UK has signed a deal worth up to £8 billion with Total Energies. I'm sure you've all seen Total on the side of different petrol stations and stuff. The problem is this has backfired in no time at all because it's now been revealed that Total imports its LNG, liquefied natural gas, from where? Yes, from Russia. So you could actually argue we're now more dependent on Russia than we were in the first place, as this is this deal is going to affect hospitals, town halls, government departments, and various public sector buildings around the country, of which, of course, there are many. This is the stupidity of what Western nations tried to do by sanctioning Russia. What's happened since? Russia has signed a deal with Saudi Arabia. The two of them now control the world's oil prices. And they have taken certain percentage out of the market, meaning that now all they have to do every time they want to increase the price of gas is just turn the taps down a little bit. So even if countries are stupid enough like Germany were to try and cut off all contact with Russia and try and stop any imports from Russia, or at least stop the amount of gas Russia is importing, all they do is use the basic clause of supply and demand, turn the supply down, they might export less, but they're actually getting a lot more money for the stuff that they are exporting. Absolute morons to think they could cut Russia out of the world in this way and it's backfired massively because our economies are tanking yet the Russian economy is growing beyond belief.